All right, so let's see how to integrate PyTorch Mobile with Flutter using the method channel. So first of all, we need to trace a model with the in time compiler of Torch and save it into a model.pt. Uh, we need to give it an example to the for the model and in this example we, we give it a random thing because it doesn't matter why well we give it to the model all right so uh we need then in the in the further flutter app uh we need to get the implementation of the pytorch android and the pytorch android torch vision with the 1.7 version then we need to create a method channel with a, a name that we're going to use as a code to get this uh, method channel, then we set uh, a call to handle methods to the channel. For example, the predict image that is going to predict our image. Then in the Flutter app or front end, we get a floating action button that that gets a get prediction function that calls the PyTorch PyTorch channel invoke method of a method channel that we uh, create here with this uh, class. Before that, in the init state for of our app, we call the get, get the, the model file, okay? Because we're going to bundle the model in our assets and we need to uh, create um, the model into the documents directory of the app. So if uh, here, if the file doesn't exist, we write the files, the files uh, as bytes. So then in the prediction function that we send to the method channel, the predict image method here. So the, the invoke method, it's first the string code from the me for, for the method and a map from the different uh, data that we sent. So we're going to send the model path. We're going to send the image data as an uint a, a list. And we get that from the uh, road bundle and the asset. We also set the data offset and the data length and we set the prediction when the prediction uh, comes. Now, in the main activity, this is when the, where the magic uh, happens. So we got the model, the module of the model, uh, the bitmap uh, from the image. Uh, so first, first we, we parse the received data. So we receive the model path, that offset, the data links, and the image data as a byte. Uh, we got this from uh, this page, the conversion from Dart to Java. This is in the Flutter Dev Docs. Then we decode uh, the byte array uh, from the byte stream, this byte stream, and we set that to the byte map variable. We load the module and we catch if there is any errors. Then we, with the tensor image utils, we parse the bitmap to float 32 tensor. Here we also do a norm mean, a norm standard HGB. This is standard for ResNet. All right, so this is the actually uh, the model uh, doing stuff. So we call the forward step. So this uh, runs the model and it converts to a tensor. We get the tensors, the results get uh, as, flo as a float array. And then we sort, we get uh, the maximum ID of the maximum prediction. Uh, so this prediction is um, probability distribution. So we get the maximum from the consensus array here. We get the name of the maximum score. Then we get the result and we send the result using the result dot success and the class name that is a string. Then as we saw earlier, we get the result as a string and we we put it in the prediction. The prediction we show it as a text that if th this is no, we're going to show an empty string. And uh, that's about it. Let's try another image to see if this actually works correctly. So we're going to get an image from Unsplash. So we have here a new image, this car. And change uh, the display image also. Save this and F5. Right, let's see, let's see. And slam, we get. <laughs> okay, so we got something. Uh, I think that's uh, correct. I th I think that ImageNet doesn't have cars, so that's why we got that. Let's get an image with an animal. I I know that ImageNet has a lot of animals. Okay, let's get a deer. Okay, new image. Let's stop this and change this. Okay, let's see what uh, the model says. And we have, um, <laughs> I don't know what this, <laughs> let's see what Google says. 
All right, so look at this. I mean, it's a little bit far off because I think this is uh, a deer, but it's not that bad. Maybe it goes confused by the horns, but yeah. So I'm going to get a better model from something else and try that. So uh, I think that's it for this rundown of this. Hope you enjoy and get, and get to learn something. Bye.